When the G54 offset command is active on this FANUC control, it uses the values stored in the one position of the offset table to establish the position of program zero. G55 uses position two in the table and so on. The zero position of the work coordinate table is a special offset. It holds a work coordinate shift value. The shift value, in effect, shifts the location of the other six offset values stored in the work coordinate table. A shift might be used, for example, when a single fixture which holds six identical work pieces is mounted to the work table. The programmer could assign a G54 to G59 for each work piece zero location. It would then be necessary to mount the fixture at exactly the same location each time it was mounted to the table to be sure all of the zero locations were correct. If the fixture were not mounted at the same location, the values would not be correct, and a lot of work would be required to find and enter each of the six values. Instead, a set of coordinates can be entered in the shift register by the operator to shift the grid to the correct location. In a moment, you'll learn how to find the coordinates to enter into the zero, zero position of the table to cause a shift. To display the work coordinate offset table on this FANUC Zero Series control, push the Offset menu button. Use the page buttons to display the work coordinate screen or push the work soft key. Two pages are used to display the six offsets available and the zero shift register. Here is an example of a G55 used in a data block. The G55 code activates the offset amount stored in the work coordinate offset 2. As was mentioned earlier, the coordinates that follow the G55 in the data block are not related to the G55 code. They specify the position to which the tool is to be moved once the G55 grid is activated. Because these are modal commands, this G55 will automatically cancel the G54, which was active up until this point. 